right, buddy. Here we go. Are you excited? Holy shit. Hello again. Um, so today we wanted to talk about the flooring, yep. the adventure that was. Um, we were here to talk about it last time on, on video, our first video. And we ended up going with um, a vinyl sheet flooring, which I haven't seen a ton of people do. But it worked out really well. Um, our floor is not insulated. That's a pretty key thing to say. Oh, true. Because yeah. Alec is tall. We had to pick either insulating the floor or the ceiling. And we went with the ceiling because... The ceiling important. Hot yeah. air rises. Yeah. Kind of thing. So we left the factory floor that was on the van when mm -hmm. we bought it as the base because it was already cut out into shape. Even though she didn't need to change that, it was already in there perfectly. Uh, we had a couple bumps where the brackets were, but it was all around the, like, kind of near the edge of the van, near the wheel wells, and then around the back. And when we looked at it, we realized actually that most of that is going to be covered. With Almost all of it, yeah. Yeah, it'll be covered with all of the cabinetry. Counters, the bed, a couch. So the so, middle part where we will actually be seeing yeah. the floor. It was, yeah, it was a smooth surface. Yeah. We also decided to put the floor down the whole thing. I know some people just do flooring, like they build the framework of their furniture essentially and then put the floor only where it's going to be, which I think makes sense if you have really nice expensive wood flooring. Yeah. But for us, we just bought, yeah, the one big sheet of linoleum. Yeah, it just made more sense to us in that way too. The whole floor is waterproof. Yeah. Yeah, and our, our, so our van is, uh, well, as we found out from longest point to longest point, it is like just shy of 14 feet. And then the van is uh, five feet, eight inches wide. It, uh, we were looking at getting linoleum, and you can only get it in 12 feet strips by, you know, however your desired length. And then we, were, we realized that meant we were going to have to buy 12 feet this way and then 14 feet this way just to make it work, which is so much extra that we would not need to be a waste of money. So, so then we ended up just buying it used from a guy, real nice guy. Uh, we actually should have to buy a different flooring and then found the one we went with because we liked its color and feel better. Mm -hmm. So we were really happy with that. Um, so uh, the floor had already been cleaned underneath it. We already put a mat or a, small, a black tarp underneath it too, just to help with uh, making it more moisture resistant. I went around the edges of the factory floor before we put it in and, and sprayed uh, kills which is an anti-mold spray paint, um, just to really help prevent anything that's gonna build up, because I did see some nightmares of people getting mold in their van, having to tear up all the flooring. And um, then a part of the side walls, which is a different video about insulation, um, we have Reflectix that go down the sides, and we taped the black tarp that came up the sides of the factory flooring to Reflectix so that it is connected from the floor up the walls as like one solid layer with no gaps. Yeah, so floor to walls, which will eventually extend to the ceiling, and it will be uh, like a submarine. <laughs> all connected, okay. all airtight essentially. Yeah. Or watertight. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, so we got, well, so after making all that prep work, you know, we already filled holes, cleaned under the factory flooring. We had removed some nails from the factory flooring that were sticking up, um, smoothed it out. There was a, or the, there's two pieces of factory flooring, and where they meet, there's a slight overlap, so we put a screw in one to really level it out. And then we got our floor. We had to make sure that we cut the shape correctly so that it would fit around the wheel wells. So that was the mm -hmm. first part. And it didn't have to be perfect, but because we knew we were going to build boxes on top of the wheel wells that were going to cover that. So we just kind of roughly cut it to the shape, and then we put the glue down. Smells good. Do you want to get paper towels? Actually, I think there's some paper on the But we will just need them. Yeah. All right, bring it on up. Yeah, so basically, we're just slabbing on globs of glue. And then using the this designated side of the scraper to evenly distribute. It's called something. Trowels? That sounds they, right. I that think they're right. trowels. We'll go yeah. with trowels. Correct you buy the specific kind of trowel that has a certain depth to mm -hmm. its edges so that the, when the, you when you scrape the glue, mm -hmm. which yeah, is a big part of the process, it leaves only the correct amount. Yeah, it distributes it equally. Yeah. So that way it's it, it remains sticks solid. evenly. Yeah. Yes, which is just a lot of scraping. A lot of back and forth. It wasn't. It didn't take too long, but it was just. No. It felt like a long time because it's just it felt like very monotonous. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little bit at a time. And then after that, we brought the. We had rolled up the 
layer of mm -hmm. the flooring after we cut it to the right shape, so then we just needed to unroll it. And basically, because we had cut it so specifically to the shape of the van, it wasn't going to, like, unroll easily, so we had to kind of lift it up and set yeah, it down. Yeah, and, like, tilt it sideways, because it's the exact width of the van, so it wasn't going to just roll down smoothly. Um, so, yeah, so there's a little bit of tilting there. But it came out pretty good. I think we were, like, a millimeter off of the flooring, but once it was down, it was pretty much unmovable, so... <laughs> Oh, it does need to come your way, Smidge. Okay. That's okay. How? Um. Can you pull? <laughs> Is that a no? No, I'm just working on it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. All right, well. Something else that we really happy that we did too was um, we see a lot of people where you know the step like for the side door that step that goes in you people will put like a metal a metal trim there to protect it or just to basically make it seamless. But I hate those. I always yeah, stub my toes. Molly didn't like that idea. So what we ended up work, working out incredibly well was we just left that excess on that side and then we cut it and we tucked it in behind the plastic that so creates the step. Yeah, and you'll see. But nice little like like if this is the step right here it just goes down and it's seamless into the plastic and it looks great and plus we when we're in the van we can sweep dust right off yes. the edge because it won't there's no get stuck there's no barrier yes yeah, so yeah. like how you can't sweep dust out your front door obviously because it's got the like a board there or some joiner yeah yeah so but now we can <laughs> obviously we're using very specific and correct words i do think a joiner might be better well i guess it's a door jam yeah, a door is jam. different. A door is different because we have to. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, you know, anyway. you can't. Yeah, but now we can. Which We're really I, happy with it. It wasn't really what we intended, <laughs> but it, as you do things, you know, you tend to find reasons that you do them. So mm -hmm. that we were like, yeah, now we can sweep out. Perfect. That yeah, that's was totally the plan the whole time. Yeah, yeah, that's. <laughs> so yeah, now we have the floor down. It looks great. It's mm -hmm. actually conveniently very similarly colored to the countertops that we have found. Yes, which also matches the trim on the oven. Another one of those things like we bought them. And now we're like, yeah, they all match, right? Yeah, they're pretty close. Yeah, it looks great. It's intended. So yeah, we did it pretty simple. Mm -hmm. Luckily, we didn't have to create the floor base because we already had the factory floor in. So that's, yeah. that's a step I see a lot of people do. And another thing, too, is that if we were smart, what we would have done is when we had the factory floor out the first time, mm -hmm. we would have left it out until we got this vinyl and then flipped the factory floor upside down on the vinyl and then just traced it. Yeah, we saw someone do that. My God, that would have been so easy. But no, instead... Because the reason we weren't going to take it back up again was because it was such a hassle to get the yeah, flooring was. down on top of the black tarp that we put hassle. underneath it. It took us way too long. Yeah. We put the wrong piece down first, had to lift it up, put the other one down. It was like a whole thing. Yeah, it was a whole thing. It was a whole thing. <laughs> yeah. We were really happy with the way it came out. We were able to find really affordable vinyl. Is it vinyl? Yes. Yeah. Sure. And we are really happy with the color. So. Yeah. Very excited about that, and it was pretty simple. Uh -huh. And all of our slight mistakes while I'm here will be covered, and so you can't see them. So, as far great. as you're concerned, we did perfect. <laughs> perfect. And if you and stay tuned next because we're gonna make our own roof rack <laughs> at some point instead of buying one because they're so darn expensive. Maybe. We do already have tracks put in the van, so that is definitely a benefit we have. But I say by calling it making our own roof rack is a very generous term for what we're gonna do. <laughs> we're gonna make our own roof rack. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for watching, and if you're building a van, good luck, and we'll see you next time. Yeah, thanks. Bye. We're gonna build a camper van? Yeah, trying. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs>